Dear friends, welcome back. In this session, we will learn the operators in the rest. Yes, we are going to learn the arithmetic, logical, relational and the bitwise operators that we use with rest. How do we use it, sir? I am going to explain you with a simple piece of code as well and it will be very useful for you. First, we will go with the arithmetic operations. Yes, we have got plus, minus, multiplication, division and modulo used here. Addition is represented by plus, minus represents subtraction, multiplication by star and slash represents division where you get the quotient out of it. Model a symbol if you use, it represents again division but you get the reminder. How are we going to code it? It's very simple and I'm going to explain you the entire code and I'll show you the output as well. Now if you see in this code, we have got two input variables, input 1 and input 2. I've got values assigned to it 10 and 2. Now I've got output as mutable option enabled one and I made it I32. Now I am going to use input 1 plus input 2 here and that's addition operation. Output is equal to input 1 plus input 2. Now print ln exclamation mark the sum is output. So I get 10 plus 2 added here and 12 should be printed. Since output is a muted variable, it's mutable variable, I can use it again and again without any issue. So output is equal to input 1 minus input 2. Now I get the difference and it's printed. So 10 minus 2 should be 8 and that's the answer. And next, I go with the multiplication operation. Output is equal to input 1 star input 2. I get the product as the output. Now the next one is going to be division operation where you will get the quotient. When you use the backslash, I get input 1 slash input 2 here in the code and I get the quotient as the output. But when I want the reminder, I need to go ahead with modulo. So output is equal to input 1 modulo operator input 2. I get the remainder. Can we see the output? Yes, the sum is 12. 10 plus 2 is 12. The difference is 8, 10 minus 2 is 8 and the product 10 into 2 is 20. The quotient is 5 and the remainder is 0. That's all. You have learned how to use plus, minus, star, backslash and us and the modulo operator clearly in this discussion. Well, we'll go with the next one. What is this? This is called relational operator. Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to not equal to this is again similar to many of the programming languages that we are already aware of and that we have been using for a long time but we need to implement it in a small piece of code and we can go ahead with the understanding i've got two variables here x and y and both have got some value 7 and 9 associated with them i'm just printing x value here as x y value here as y now what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if we are getting the greater than the less than the greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to, not equal to are all working functionally fine. Now, is x greater than y? Is 0, 7 greater than 9? That's the first case here. x greater than y. If x is greater than y, this output will be true. Otherwise, this will be false. When you go with greater than or less than or any of this relational operation, if the output is right, if the output is correct, I mean, if a is greater than b is right for us, it's true. In that case, output will be true. If not, it will be false. Here is x greater than y. No, it's not. So what is the output? Output is false. Now I'm going with the next one. Is x less than y? Yes, we get it. x is less than y. So it is true. Now is x greater than or equal to y? No, it is not equal to or greater than y. So we get false. Is x less than or equal to y? Again, see here. It is true. Now is x equal to equal to y? Not at all. It is false. Is x not equal to y? It is true. That's all. We have used greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to, not equal to. All these are tested and this is how we get the relational operators working fine. All these are easy and I hope you understand it. The next one is logical operation. The logical is again very simple. We have got three out of it here. And, or, not. And is double Amberson. R is double pipe. Not is single exclamation mark. That's all. We are going to see a simple example out here and it will be very helpful for you to understand how exactly things work. Now x has got 5 assigned to it, y has got 8 assigned to it. If x greater than 4 and and y greater than 0, 7, is x greater than 4? No. Is, is x greater than 4 and and y greater than 7, then we print true. Right? So this is what we do it here. And see that here. x is greater than 0, 4. 0, 5 is greater than 0, 4. 0, 8 is greater than 0, 7 and hence we get true as the output. 
Now what do we do? We have another set of variables here. P equal to 0, 5, Q equal to 10. If P greater than 10 or if Q greater than 9, print ln true. So what do we do here? P greater than 10. No, it is not true. But we have used logical R, which means 10 is greater than 9 is true. One of these cases are true. Hence, I get the output. Now, what do I do here? I got true here. First two cases are true. Let is false equal to false. I have assigned false to is false. And I have variable name is false actually. This is false. Now, if not of false, if not of false means if false, not of false is true. Then I get it printed. That's all. I get not of 0, not of 0 is 1. So, 1 is not elder is printed. That's all. I have used double ampersand. I have used R. I have used not. All these are proven here. And it's very easy to use. And I have shown you the output as well. One final case has to be learned here in this session. And with that, I'll close the session. We'll go to the next one quickly. Right. What is this? This is called bitwise operation. What do you mean by bitwise? I'll go bit by bit wise operation here. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. It is not logical. It is bitwise. So remember it. Now, I have the AND, single AND operator when I use. It is bitwise AND. Single R, it is bitwise R. You can see the cap. It is XR bitwise, not bitwise. Left shift, you can see that it's double arrow left shift, double arrow right shift, and triple arrow right shift with 0. All these are used here and I am going to quickly go through some of the examples in the form of code and I hope you will understand it. It's all pretty easy for you to understand and I hope you can try it out in your machine also. Now see that out here, I have got x with 3 assigned, 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. I have got y assigned with 4, 0, 1, double 0. Now I am going to use the operators that I have listed here in the code. Out equal to x bitwise and y. So this will be bitwise operated with that. And what you get as the output 0, 0, 1, 1 with 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So it won't get any output and it is 0. Since it is bitwise and. Now we go with bitwise R operation. 0, 0, 1, 1, R with 0, 1, 0, 0. So I get 7. It's quite understandable. 4, 2, 1 alone will be enabled. 4, 2, 1. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. And we got the output as 7. Now XR. Again, XR we know the truth table and we get output as 7. Now, not of y, again, minus 5 would be the output. Just work it out so that you can understand it. And I go for a left shift then, I get 48. It shifts to the left. And I go with the right shift and I get 0. So, see the way it has been worked out and try to do the same values and you will get the same output. If you want mathematically to be understood, you need to make sure that you take a paper and work it out all around. Since I do not want to prolong the session, I leave it there. You try it out mathematically. 0, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 1, 0. Take the truth table, get the values. Similarly, for XR, we know the truth table. For left shift, move these variables to the left or move these bits to the left or right. That's all. It's all done. We'll go and learn more about the rest in the next session as well. Thank you very much for following my channel and the content. If you like the channel and the content, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you.